Hello, welcome to Prayer Request Live from the California studios. Having hope is one of the most important things that we can do each day. No matter how terrible a situation may be, hope can always help. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 says, Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous, do not be afraid, do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. I want to thank our sponsor, Catholic Online at Catholic.org, the world's Catholic library, for making these live shows possible. During the remainder of December, Pope Francis asks that we focus on evangelization in the service of the transmission of faith. He asks we pray that people who are involved in the service and transmission of faith may find in their dialogue with culture a language suited to the conditions of the present time. In addition, please join us as we pray for the following intentions. For Pope Francis and the bishops, priests, and deacons of the church, may they preside with integrity and wisdom all the days of their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our leaders, judges, and public servants, we pray that they serve justly and righteously. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the elderly, the sick, the shut-in, the poor, the hungry, the oppressed, and the imprisoned. And for children around the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs of your local community, may you know peace and prosperity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pause now for you to offer your own prayer intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Before we start today's request, I ask you to please mention your location and we will mention some of you in a shout out at the end of today's show. Now let's hear the needs of our brothers and sisters. We pray for Marie. Please intercede on my behalf and guide the mother of my granddaughters to take control of her income and finances so that she may be able to care for her children. She cannot control her money and is in a huge financial crisis. She's living in a motel and I have her children. Please, I pray for you to intervene and help. She has a large income. Please keep her from gambling. Please hear my prayers. Help everyone involved and stop her anger, cruelty, and stealing from us, and her physical, mental, and emotional abuse. Amen. We pray for Lem. Dear God, I pray to have good news back from the job that I recently handed my resume into, because I would be so grateful and it would make my family so proud. Amen. We pray for Sanjay. I want to start a business. Please pray to God that he can give me ideas, inspiration, and arrange money for the business. Amen. We pray for Bridget. I have a serious illness, and I know that God can heal me. Amen. We pray for JC. Dear Lord, please help us raise funds and get us our house in our name soon. Please help us to raise funds and to start running our press and all our businesses smoothly and attain prosperity. Amen. We pray for Matthew. Prayer requests for our son Matthew who has ADHD and is seven years old. Prayers for healing, please. Amen. We pray for Julie. I need to sell my home. It has been vacant for a month. Please find it a holy dreamly or a sign. If I need to keep it, also, please help me and guide me if this new job opportunity is right, that it is truly in your will, God. Amen. We pray for Greg. Lord, find me worthy of your guidance to joy, your blessings and miracles. Amen. We pray for Michelle. I thank God for hearing and answering my prayers according to his good and perfect will for me. Please pray for my brother's mental health. Lord be with him and grant him a spirit of love and a sound mind in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray for Cindy. Please pray that my son passes his first nine weeks, especially in math. 
and that is teacher post the grade soon. Amen. We pray for Anne. Dear Lord, please pray I will work hard and smart for this company. Lord, please give me the courage and drive to continue this work to get it off the ground. Lord, please help me and guide me. Lord, please help me make this a success. Amen. We pray for Kirsten. We are in our sixth week of pregnancy. It has been our stumbling block with, from our prior four miscarriages. Please, Lord, make our baby's heartbeat strong. We long to be parents and hold them in our arms. Amen. We pray for Amy. What should I do about my teaching career? Should I even be a teacher? What does God want for me? Please pray for me. Amen. We pray for Mark. I lost my job a few weeks ago, and I'm very scared I will not find another good pain one without having to move away from my son. I'm going to, into depression and could really use some prayers. Amen. We pray for John. Please pray for Daniel from England, that God will bless this 26-year-old man. He is talented, creative, and a kind young man. However, he has been suffering from depression for some years now. Pray that God will bless him in every way, especially in his mental health. Amen. We pray for Mary. Pray that we will be allowed to stay in our family home and that our mortgage holder provides us favorable terms. Amen. We pray for Lisa. For my youngest daughter, who has been experiencing the heartbreak of being falsely accused and gossiped about, who just wants to be loved and be loved, Lord, be with her. Let her know that you are with her. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We pray for Mary. For wisdom from a desperate family to make good decisions about a huge unexpected debt and how to come up with thousands and thousands of dollars. To trust in God's forgiveness and mercy to deal with the anxiety about all of this. Amen. We pray for Michelle. Please pray that I go over to my ex and that he realizes that he lost a good woman and wants me back. I cannot stand the rejection. Please pray for my anxiety and help me feel content and peace. Amen. We pray for Megan. Father, I pray that you are working in the spiritual world for what I have prayed for this weekend in church. I have complete faith in these prayers and I trust in you, Jesus. And St. Anthony, whom I pray to, in Christ's name, restore my faith and show me when I am delivered, which I feel it coming with all my heart. Let me believe it and know that it is you, Father God. In Christ's name, I pray. Amen. Take this time out now to pray with me. The glory be to the Father. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We pray for Arn. O oh Lord, please take care of everything. I beg you, O oh Lord. Amen. We pray for Carolee. Please pray that Greg will be cleansed of his cancer. Amen. We pray for Carrie. Please pray for my friends whose son has gone missing. Pray for his safe return. Amen. We pray for Marisol. I need an urgent prayer for my husband to call me and for my husband to come back home, for me and my husband to work out our marriage, for my son Moses to come and live with me, and for the guy that did harm to my son to go to jail. Amen. We pray for Kathy. I am asking for prayers in response to Hurricane Florence. I live in North Carolina where it is expected to make landfall. I've encountered a Category 3 hurricane before, and I know the damage that it can do. I'm hoping that everyone will help me in praying that this storm will come to pass and will turn out to the sea and spare the East Coast from destruction. Amen. We pray for E. Please pray for me. I fail so miserably at what I try to do. Please pray that Jesus guides me in all of my decisions from this moment forward. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We pray for Rob. Please pray for me. I've had melanoma surgery to remove two biopsies. Please pray that they have gotten all of the cancer. 
Amen. We pray for Lethe. Lord, please help me with all of my problems. Protect us, Lord, from harms and dangers. I'm praying that I have someone to help me with my financial problems so that I can pay all my debt. I'm praying that my store in Chinatown will make enough money daily. I'm praying that everything will be okay. Amen. We pray for Fernando. Father in heaven, in Jesus' mighty name, I pray that you please let me be able to get those four pickups so that I can make and create wealth for my little family. Amen. We pray for Sue. I pray that Gerard will get an appointment at Cancer Clinic this week. I pray that my battle with insurance companies over my accident will be resolved in the Supreme Court in my favor. Amen. We pray for PG. Pray for my wife and I. We need loan approval soon to move into an apartment, to get our stuff out of storage, and to become financially stable again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We pray for Marlene. Please pray Shauna's cottage sells very soon. Amen. We pray for Irene. Janine was discharged from the hospital last week. Her condition is in need of help. She needs health insurance. For so many days and years now, the insurance has been telling her to do so many different things when she gets cut off after making two or three payments. I'm asking you to join us in prayer on her behalf. She needs surgery. There are so many evils in this world, but God can overcome the workers of iniquity. Amen. We pray for Joe, for my wife to regain her speech and recover from her stroke, for the relationship between our family, for our marriage, for our grandson Brandon and Brooke's illness, for our son, his family, and all of our issues. Amen. We pray for Peg. Please pray for my sons. Amen. We pray for Eileen. Please pray for me and my husband, our families, and Ryan and Richie. Amen. We pray for Robert. Please pray for me to receive guidance and wisdom from the Holy Spirit when I speak to others who can help me prove my innocence. And for the Holy Spirit to open their hearts and minds to discern that all the unjust allegations and false statements made by evil people against me to be false. Amen. We pray for Vida. Loving Father, have mercy on me. Help me pass the test as required. Amen. We pray for Desi. Today I am severely troubled at work. Something bad has come up and it's almost gotten me in trouble. In fact, I may even be in trouble. I was misunderstood badly and became the victim of a terrible situation. Lord, help me out. Pull me out from these depths of darkness and save me. Amen. We pray for Annette. My mother Alice is actively dying. She was anointed today. Please pray for her. Amen. We pray for David to heal and restore my relationship with Monica to how it was in the beginning. Amen. It's shout out time. Thank you all for your prayers and comments during today's live show. Watch us daily for a chance at your own shout out. Now let's mention a few names from today. Thank you. I have Coffee from New York, Nellie from California, Z from California, Joe from Texas, Dahlia from Texas, Lily Beth from the Philippines, and Marilyn from Oregon. Thank you everyone. Join me now in praying the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please go to Catholic Online's Prayer Request Live page to submit your prayer request to be prayed for live with our community. Remember to like us on Facebook and subscribe to Catholic Online's YouTube channel. I'll be back here tomorrow morning live at 9 a.m. Pacific Time. Have a wonderful day. God bless.